Yeah, I remember that now, Torello. Jesus, you've got a memory on you, buddy. That was a long time ago. Holy shit. Uh, okay. We probably needed more temp shift plates in here. I didn't put any temp shift plates behind my coal gens, but... Seemed to be sort of working. Once we've filled this last little gap, I'll um, empty this loader. And then we'll have filled the conveyor line then. Boop. There we go. Uh, Beaver on. Oh, thank you very much for the sub, buddy. How's it going? How are you? There we go. Uh, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated, buddy. How are you? Oh, she left straight away, Scyther. The dragon has gone. She's back from work and she's gone. Uh, okay, so I think this should work. Hoping it'll work? Don't really know. Never really done it like this before. Might work, might not. Seems to be cool in the generators. We'll have to see. At the minute, obviously, this is open, so we're technically... I mean, it's full of chlorine and shit, so it's not going to be doing much cooling. Um, which is not ideal, but it is what it is. Um, I do need to get these circuits done, which we will do right now. Just do that. Um, we're pissing through our refined iron. Holy shit. Uh, you can all go to there. Beautiful. Uh, I don't think we need the textile thing just yet. I won't, I won't connect it yet because we might end up moving it, truth be told. Uh, but I will connect you and you. And that'll be that. Oh, it feels nice to have a few circuits on the go. That is good. Uh, this does seem to be getting cooler. So, whether our granite on the conveyors is cooling down. Let's see, it's coming in at 20... 28 nearly, 29. It's leaving at 25. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I do enjoy the way you are. Ah, don't say that. That's not true, buddy. I'm a bumbling fuck. Don't say that. Um, I'm, I'm, to be honest, I've done some very silly things in this playthrough, and I always do silly things, in fairness, but... Um, it's the way I play, to be honest. We, we try and tie everything together later on in the game. Like, I've had this oxygen thing built since quite early in the stream tonight. I've not done anything with it since we set it up. Um, because I'm an idiot. Um, I want to get up here without destroying this, ideally. So what we could do. Let's get rid of this pinch of pepper up. Yeah, just keep playing, buddy. That's all I ever say. Just keep playing. You'll get better every time you play. I don't know if I can do this like really dirty by just slapping a few mesh tiles here and putting some wheeze warts on them. Because there's a reasonable amount of hydrogen in here, in fairness. But realistically, it's not worth the best down here. So I don't know. I mean, this is working. It's just... I don't know if it could be better. And it could be better if we had a lot more cooling in the room, but... <clears throat> I think we'll just slap a couple of loose water in here and see what happens. We'll put a pump down here and just leave this natural. Because honestly, it seems to be pretty chill. It seems to be pretty cool. You got the cold biome aiding you up there with the other guys. Yeah, I know. The only thing is it won't last forever. That's that's the only thing. You know, eventually this will this will heat up. So we will see. Well, this is fine. How's the oil doing? Uh, we're getting to be like a greeny colour. Uh, coal gens are, st 
Cold gens are still getting warmer. Maybe we need some temp shift plates in here or something. Yeah, maybe we need some temp shift plates. Let's uh, let's get in here. Let's also turn this on so we can get rid of some of the CO two so it doesn't spew into the base. Let's try putting some. We'll even put some granite temp shift plates in. How about that? Fuck it. We're going big. We'll make the whole room a big old heatsink. This would work a bit better. I know this room's probably not going to change temperature anytime soon because it's sat in chlorine, but I thought this might have been better with a bit of CO2 that's in here. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, when's this active? Again, it's pretty soon, isn't it? 13 cycles. Do I have any resource? No. Bastard. Bastard. Whilst they're doing that, let me see if we can find anything. I think we've used everything in here. We have got a couple of cracked tiles that I could do with digging out, but they're not the easiest to get to. Um, let's dig out you. Let's dig out you as well. Any other crack tiles? I'll ship down to eleven tons of iron ore. I might rain off this, uh, ease off this for a bit. Uh, we've refined a lot of metal, so we'll stop that for a bit. Okay, so close the battery room, let the cold gens fill it with CO2. No, no, I don't think so. I think um, ultimately, I want to I want to put hydrogen in here. At the minute, it doesn't really matter. Um, it doesn't really matter as long as these these don't completely overheat should be alright. And I mean, they are made of gold, they're not made of a, a very reactive metal, to be fair, so. As in, the gold doesn't transfer the temperature as well as like wolframite would, for example. What did we get? Was it just some fucking ice? Son of a bitch. Oh, beam rod. Thank you to the host as well, bud. Much love. Much love. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Have we any other busted tiles? No, it's just a bit of snow. We really have been starved for uh, wheeze warts in this this playthrough. We normally get way more than this. Oh. Uh, we dug into here and then did nothing with it. Uh, let's see. We could hop up here. Get a bit of vision up here, see what we can find. Yeah, see what we can find up there. Uh, how are we for algae? We are out of algae still. Oh, the base is starting to change colour. Son of a bitch. 
Uh, fuck. I need a bit of algae, please. Someone, give algae. Give this algae and this. Should have really finished digging all this shit out, but it's one of those things. Just such a lot of fanning about building ladders and deconstructing them and stuff. Um. Go. Big digs. Go. Mm -hmm. I'm a coffee, but I can't have it. Oh, God, I could, I could use a coffee now. I'm very much flagging. Uh, it may be time to cook the base with hot oxygen. No, we're fine. We're fine. Don't panic, everyone. We'll be okay. We always have that option, but we're not going to do it yet. To be honest, I've not really got that many vents in. I couldn't actually do it yet. We would need to put like some more piping and vents and stuff in. There's plenty of algae around the map. I'm just being lazy and digging it out. Um, Being a bit of a lazy ass. I just don't know which ice biome to head towards. I don't know where to go up here. It looks like this ice biome ends here. Um, it looks like we've got another one up here. Need to do a bit more exploring, I think. We just sort of... Oh, shit. Had we already... I found another geyser. We have two geysers that we need to explore as well. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Sets off your vertigo, so we can't have it all the time. Oh, I, could, I don't think I could function without coffee, honestly. I don't think I could. Right. Okay. Once this is done, I really want to seal this up and see how it handles the temperature. Because at the minute, I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit panicked by it. Not panicked, that's not the right word, but I'm a bit concerned. Uh, let's turn you off. A lot of a lot of work in building fucking temperature plates. It's taken a long time. Um, okay, so I want to see what's up here. I want to get this wheeze warp. So yeah, I think we put the pipe in earlier as well, or we put most of the pipe in to connect our electrolyzers up. So let's finish this off as well whilst I think on. Um and we can also start building our other power grid on this side of the base. I might, because I'm lazy, just use one of these circuits for now, or two of these circuits. Uh, just run it around the base. Mm -mm -mm. I say I function better with coffee, but it's like, do I want to feel like I'm on a roller coaster or be a little bit slow? Uh, fair enough, buddy. Uh, if an old seed is used, would the new geysers be added, or will it remain as it was before the update? Uh, the seeds don't don't translate between updates generally. So normally, if you've got a seed from a previous patch, it won't mean shit in the next update. Generally. I really want some wheeze warts, or some anti-entropy thermal nullifiers. One of the two. I need I need that additional cooling. Um, excuse me. On a plus note, uh build does seem to be working. The only problem is we can't get enough heat off the granite. We're not transferring enough temperature from the granite to the machines. I don't know if that's because we built them out of gold, like a noob. Because the smart battery seems to be fine. Maybe we should change the transformers up. Maybe that would be a first step as well. Let's change these from gold to... 
I in, for example. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Let's see how that cools. I know iron's not the best, and to be fair, with the amount of wolframite we found, I should just be using wolframite, but... Uh, I probably shouldn't have done this at night, but oh well. It is what it is. So, that's step one of the power grid anyway. Obviously, coal isn't going to last us for very long on its own, so we do need to start looking at using some hydrogen when we get our oxygen production online and also using some natural gas as well i need to find our natural gas geyser um, or maybe just start using some of this polluted water in a fertilizer build i'm not sure yet um, probably do a bit of everything or copper yeah i don't like using copper because there's such a small amount of it in the world um, i rarely build too many systems out of copper it's one of them once it's gone it's gone um whereas with a lot of the other ones you can generally find shit lower to like wolframite or iron or gold let's see if these behave a little bit better seems to be cooling it's 36.5 0.4 0.3 that seems better already. So obviously the iron that we're using is hot to begin with, but I think this should cool off a lot better. We'll get these temp shift plates finished, and then I think we should be onto a winner. We'll seal this up and I think it'll be fine then. Uh, this seems to be working well. Um, my plan was, if we get enough cooling out of this, I'm going to use these bottom little chambers here, these little open bits, and we'll cool maybe some small amounts of liquid. Just a little bit of surface liquid that we can maybe drip over other things, like uh, polymer presses or something like that. So it'll be a build that sort of satisfies quite a few purposes, rather than just the conveyors. Because conveyors are cool, but Jesus, they use a lot of materials. Like, they really do. Uh, copper only exists in the starting biome, and it's necessary for exosuits. That is the other point. As, uh, I can't remember who it was the other night that was saying they'd, they'd used up all their copper or they refined all their copper and then we're like, shit, I need exosuits, what the fuck? So, in fairness, yeah, there is that as well. So, I just want to make sure this is done and then we will uh, we'll go and do something else. Uh, are we running out of coal up here as well? Seems like it. So we'll put manual use on for now. Why is this full? Why is it not picking up that coal? Why is it not picking up this coal? more to do. Uh, meanwhile, next door we've seen seven cycles. That sucks a little bit. When are you active? You're active in ten cycles. Let's go ahead and slap a pump in down here. Um, and we'll dig out some of this as well. Sure, this has got a tile over it.
need to find some weasel nuts before that erupts. Let's get them going up here a bit quicker. Uh, I'm assuming this should be done now. Beautiful. Uh, let's seal this up. At the moment we've got 107, 111 tons of coal. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, you said that Dragon is at work. Uh, does she have some free days next week as compensation for the weekend work? Uh, no, basically she... Oh shit, what's going on here? Chlorine. Um, she's, um, she has worked the entire weekend, but she only does weekend work as a rule. She's just pretty much finished uni. Um, so, uh, yeah, she's home now. She's literally just got back about 10 minutes ago. So, yeah, I think she's just basically trying to get a few pennies before the summer. Before the summer, rather. Bastard, they left that fucking granite in there. Bastards. Okay, I think I'm going to seal this up. I think I'm just going to seal this as it is. And we can worry about pumping more gas in later. Um, I think that'll be fine. Honestly, I don't think there's any gubbins left in the room that we need to sweep or anything. So that should be okay. And we can access all the wires, I think. I think I extended them all out to the edge, so... Should be fine. This seems to be working alright. Hopefully this will all go nicely... Eventually nicely greeny blue, like this colour here. I might need some more gas, as I say, and it will fluctuate a little bit as and when the coal gens are running, but... For the most part, it seems okay. And we do still have a bit of chlorine here at the minute, so I might try and pump a bit of that out. Get rid of some of the chlorine. This is probably why my fucking mushrooms are dying in fairness, but... Yeah, it's fine. We've got plenty of food as a buffer for now. Is our slime still dying off as well? Yeah, we've got a little bit of food poisoning still in here, but it's not very much. Um, slime lung and all the slime seems to have gone, so that's cool. So the temperature's over here. It's a bit warm. Yeah, I'm going to have to deal with this, this carbon dioxide at some point, but for now, it is what it is. I'll turn this off. Uh, why is this one so hot? Oh, this doesn't have as much cooling, I don't think. It's literally only got two bands of conveyor going through it. That's why some of these are much cooler. This has got like one, two, three. Uh, this is cooling the airflow tiles. Might be better for to use Wolframite on the airflow tiles as well in fairness, but I'll just basically use what we had lots of. I think this will be fine. I think when we get more gas in here with the temp shift plates, it'll transfer the temperature around a lot more. But slightly different build than we've done before with the uh, aqua tuna. I quite like it. Using the surface liquid to cool down material. Seems pretty solid. Considering at the minute we've got like 60 grams of chlorine, 100, 200 grams of carbon dioxide, we've got fuck all gas in here. I don't want to pump carbon dioxide in here because it's just more shit I've got to get rid of later. I understand what you're saying, Mex, for the fact that I've got the pump sat right here, but I'd rather wait a little bit and do it with hyd uh, hydrogen and do it properly. So I think that's that. Um, let's have a look up here. We've got this pump pretty much ready to go. We can wire this up at some point. We need to find some wheeze warts. Um, I think that's going to be me for the night, guys. I'm, I'm pretty tired, as you probably noticed. I'm, I'm winding down. So let me just get to the uh, the end screen. I'll do a little save first. Oh. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Let's just do the old end screen malarkey. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm tired, as you can tell. Getting sleepy. Sleepy life. Let's see if this will work. Um, so, yeah, guys, as ever, much love to my wonderful mods, even Mex, even when he's giving me a hard time. I still love him. Um, for all the follows tonight, um, Great Zatara, Fenrir, uh, Rodney, Dunk, Bad, uh, Derek Learns Low, uh, Game Stories, Effector, for the subs, Minican, Mentos Man, uh, Nori, Beameron, um, and also there's a sub that I got earlier this afternoon that I want to thank as well, um, which was Asteru. Um, guys, much appreciated, genuinely. Thank you very much. Um, sorry it wound down a bit at the end. I'm tired. I need coffee. Um, I'm going to go spend a bit of time with the lady. Um, I will be back now. It'll be tomorrow. I've done... I already said it's Sunday. It'll be Monday. Uh, it'll, again, 7pm. It's British Standard Time. British Summer Time? British Summer Time. 7pm um, GMT, basically. What I always say. 7pm for me. Uh, it should announce you on, on the stream, as ever. I will also let you know on Twitch and Twitter and whatnot. If you haven't already, please do follow me on Twitter, Twitch. It's just easy to let you know what I'm doing. Um, and also, thank you very much, Max. As ever, join us on the Discord. There's a link in the chat. Um, just come and say hello, share your builds. Any questions you've got, you can ask. Um, so, yeah, thank you. And, guys, genuinely, for the viewership tonight, for the follows, for the subs, it's really genuinely appreciated. I am, as I mentioned earlier, going to be trying to apply for partner on Twitch. So, every bit of help at the minute. It all goes towards uh, making the stream better and hopefully getting those codecs, the encoders that will uh, make you able to customise it to your your liking. Um, so yeah, thank you guys, genuinely. Uh, much love as ever. Nighty night. I hope you have a lovely evening, afternoon, morning. Bye-bye.